My son did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. First of all, my son has done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him. And it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. We have some breaking news coming in. John, let me get over to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much. The breaking news is this, a major development in the federal investigation into Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden. Let's get right to Kara Scannell for details on this. Kara, I understand there is a plea agreement. What have you learned? Yeah, John, this five-year-long investigation now coming to a head. We have learned from new court filings um, at the U.S. District Court here in Wilmington, Delaware, that Hunter Biden has agreed to plead guilty to multiple criminal charges. I'm going to walk you through this. One of these charges involves, these are two counts of failing to file tax returns in a timely fashion. Those are misdemeanors. He's also going to plead guilty to a charge of a firearm offense. This is the possession of a firearm while you are addicted to a controlled substance. Now, the firearm offense is going to be diverted. And what that means is that if he meets certain conditions, that charge will go away. This will be over a set period of time. Uh, Otherwise, it's the tax misdemeanor charges. You know, according to our sources, this U.S. attorney has agreed to recommend to the judge that Biden receive a sentence of probation. So no jail for those tax misdemeanor charges. I can tell you, having covered this for several years now, that this is likely to be a very controversial plea agreement, especially with Republicans on Capitol Hill. Over the last few years, not only in the House, but in the Senate, their investigators have raised very serious questions about these business deals with Chinese nationals, as well as this Ukraine energy firm, Burisma. And then more recently, we've had whistleblowers come forward. An IRS whistleblower spoke on the record with CBS News, as well as whistleblowers from the Justice Department have gone to Capitol Hill complaining that this investigation has been slow walked and that standard investigative procedures have not been followed. So this may just be the beginning of the story in many respects. He's a grown man. He is the smartest man I know. Maybe most important, I've committed that by 2020, we will have conserved 30 percent of all the lands and waters the United States has jurisdiction over and simultaneously reduce emissions to blunt climate impact. As a matter of fact, a couple of businesses are suing banks because they want to consider whether or not you're environmentally. Anyway, I won't get into all that. I'll get. You know, I've toured many sites across the country that clearly show climate change is, is a genuine, ex- is the existential threat to humanity. The existential threat to humanity. Made it harder for people to buy stabilized bra- braces. Put a pistol on a brace, it may- turns into a gun. Makes it more, you can have a higher caliber weapon, a higher caliber bullet coming out of that gun. 